Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to run you through how to do a thermostat and thermostat housing on a really popular 1.6 Ford petrol engine. Now, um, it's in mainly the Fiestas, but I did it on a Fusion and it's also in a Focus and I believe in a KA. Um, it's a real simple job to do, guys, and it's the same as, you know, same on no matter what it is to do. I've put all the parts and the tools down in the description, so have a little read and it'll show you everything you need. It's a real cheap job to do and a real easy fix. I did this one because it was leaking i'll show you where it was leaking you'll see the coolant running behind the air conditioning pump um and yeah um also if you, your car's overheating this would probably be the first thing i would change just to make sure that it's not sticking but uh, yeah so let's take a look guys so i'm just going to show you first my coolant leak so obviously as you can see here now i've got coolant coming from behind the air conditioning pump and running down the sump and then dripping on the floor so obviously directly above the aircon pump is my thermostat housing now there is a water pump but if the water pump was leak was leaking it would be leaking out the front not the side so that's how i know it's my thermostat but yeah so this is my new one and obviously you could just take it off and put some new seals on it but i'm going to replace it they are they are known for cracking so the last thing i want to do is take it off and find out later so i'm going to remove the air intake pipe to the throttle body from the air box um, you don't have to remove this guys to get to it but if you remove it it'll give you a good view of what you're doing and uh, i uh, i wanted to be able to see see everything good so take that out of the way just to give you a bit a bit of a better view into what you're doing and there you go so as you can see down by here now we took our pipe out so you can see the actual thermostat housing itself and the two pipes and clips so uh, you you don't get a very good view of the bolts you can see one there in the top corner but uh, apart from that it's um, it's pretty tight in there but you can get to it so i'm going to take a pair of pyre hose clamp pliers and i'm going to remove the two hose clamps um on the on the main two pipes there's only two pipes i haven't drained the coolant guys what i'm going to do is just put a trub underneath and catch it um this this actual um car's been leaking for a while and they've been topping it up with water so obviously i'm going to replace the antifreeze and uh, set the strength once i'm done so uh, just get i'm just going to drop the coolant straight into a tray and uh, not worry about draining the radiator previously so yeah we'll get these two clips off and then uh, we'll carry on And there we go. I just slid the two clips down the pipe. I don't worry about taking them off. Just slide them down the pipe and then pull the pipe off and uh, let the coolant drain. There she goes. There we go. So the next thing I'm going to do now is remove the three, the four bolts, sorry, for the thermostat housing. Um, obviously two at the top and two underneath. So I'm going to take the top left hand corner out first, which is the easiest one to get to. So uh, I'm using a quarter drive here with uh, two extensions and an eight mil socket. And now we're just going to wind these out and uh, get... Uh, And there we go. So there's the first one out, guys. And now we're going to go on to the second one. There we go. So the second one is in a bit of an awkward place. It's just to the top right-hand corner of the thermostat housing. Now, you can't actually see it from the top, but if you go underneath, you've got a really clear view of it. So um, I would advise looking underneath just to see where you're placing the socket. But I, I stuck the socket down here and I found it. So uh, it's not, uh, not the hardest one to get to. But uh, now I'm going to get a magnet and just take it out because obviously I can't get my fingers in there to grab it. So... Uh, I'm just going to use a magnet. Now, just so you know, I did use a bit of grease in the socket to put these back in because they are a little bit awkward. But uh, yeah, 
So here we are underneath now. So I'm going to take the the one bottom right hand out first. Um, this one's really simple to get to, guys. Again, just a quarter drive, eight mil on that. They're not overly tight. Um, and then I'm going to take this bottom one out. Now, I did think I could hopefully take the bot two bottom ones from underneath, but as you can see, the air conditioning pump is in the way of uh, the bottom left hand bolt, so uh, I couldn't see where it was. So uh, I decided now to go back up the top and do it from the top. So it is in a bit of an awkward place, but you can actually see it from the top. If you look directly be between the two pipes, um, just stick the socket underneath in between the two pipes and you will find it. So uh, just so you know, whereabouts it is but you can always look at the new throttle uh, new thermostat i was in to see where it is so again i'm going to use a magnet now just to get it out because uh, you won't get your hands down here it is in a very awkward place so uh, there we are now mine was glued on so i'm just going to give it a good pull and get it off um somebody decided to have a go at it before and silicon it but obviously it hasn't worked so there we go and now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a screwdriver and remove the thermostat. Now the thermostat you'll see is just sat in a recess in the block. So uh, basically it's just in a little groove and you just basically, it's just a bit tight in there. So I got a screwdriver and barred it off the alternator and just popped it out of that groove. So uh, it was actually quite tight, believe it or not, but uh, it, uh, it did come out quite simple. And uh, yeah, I just stuck my hand down there then and grabbed hold of him and pulled him out. Just make sure you get the seal with him as well as the thermostat. And uh, yeah, there we go. Now, there's my old thermostat and thermostat housing. It's that simple, guys. So uh, obviously, as you can see here, I've got um, one seal on the left. And then on the right, I've got um, where the thermostat sits. And uh, if you look... Uh, down here you can see it's covered in silicon where somebody's now you shouldn't put any silicon on these guys you you know when there's new seals um i do put a bit of rubber grease on them but that's it um they no sealant at all um it will actually it make it worse than anything and as you can see there's no seal on the housing for the thermostat the thermostat o-ring itself seals to there so um that's that so here's my new one um, obviously new housing um, you can sometimes they crack that's I, I like to replace them because uh, they are known for cracking and leaking so yeah you better safe than sorry so there's my thermostat and my thermostat housing now what I'll do now is take a bit of rubber grease and just uh, give the gasket a little bit of a, a bit of a lube and stick it in and also it helps it stay in you know guys if uh, if it's uh, got a bit of rubber grease on it it'll hold itself just be careful you don't use normal grease because it can cause these uh, these o-rings to swell and uh, it'll actually cause you more trouble so make sure it's a rubber grease um, rather than a normal grease now the other thing i want to show you guys is my new thermostat came with two o-rings it came with one on and it came with one in the box now um looking at it it looks like the one on is a bit thicker than the one that was in the box with it so i'm gonna leave the one that's on it and i'm gonna use that one first obviously if i'd have had any trouble getting it in the groove i would swap it out for the smaller one but uh, obviously try the bigger one first and see what happens but mine fitted lovely and snug with the thick one so i'm just going to give him a, a lube up again with red rubber grease and uh, stick him in place now the other last thing i want to mention there is a vent on this thermostat as you can see by here and obviously right the way through now this vent was directly to the top when i took my thermostat out so that's how i'm going to put this one back um i would definitely take and make make note when you do yours and uh, see where it is so that's it guys just box it back up and uh, yeah my advice for the day is if anyone asks you to do a turbo on a voxel vivaro say no trust me guys have a good day